whether you have a low end pc or a high end pc if you have unnecessary services running in the computer's background this will definitely slow up the computer and you will never get the good performance out of your computer whether it's a brand new or an old computer unnecessary services you know take a lot of resources and make the computer slow so today we are going to disable few i would say 12 services which is not required for many and we can disable it and i'll let you know uh, why and how we can disable it all right i will also explain that what exactly the the service or that service do all right so here in the uh, start i can just do a right click and click on run and type services dot msc i'll just maximize it so once you have typed services dot msc just click on okay a new window will appear like this and i'll just maximize it and here we are looking for the very first service which is it is active x installer so if you're not using the internet explorer you can simply do a right click go to properties and from here you can select from manual to disabled so since i am not using the internet explorer i have disabled the service and the second service is bitlocker encryption now here we will bitlocker drive in, uh, encryption service so if you do not know and you don't use bitlocker drive in encryption service you can disable it so i don't use it i'll just click on stop and i'll click on again i'll do a right click i'll go to properties and from manual to i'll click on disabled so in this manner i have disabled the bitlocker drive encryption now the third service is connected user experience and telemetry this is also a service which we don't require which is connected uh user experience and telemetry this is especially if you are connecting any appliance to your computer um you can you know uh, let it enable but for most of us we don't use it and it's not at all required so you can simply click on stop and you can simply do a right click and go to properties and from here automatic to you can click on disabled and click on apply and okay now the fourth service is the fax so if you're using the fax just scroll down you can simply find the fax right here and just do a right click go to properties and from manual to click on disabled so in this manner we are saving a lot of resources only the essential services will be running in your computer and it will be good for the processor as well because less load better life so here after fax we can do the print spooler so just type p and look for print spooler like this so if you're not using uh, your computer for printing you can simply disable this service and it is running right now and we can disable it i'll just do a right click and we will click on stop and again i'll do a right click and we will click on properties and from here we can select from automatic to disabled once you have done that click on apply and okay now the next service is ip helper i'll tell you what exactly it does ip helper uh, actually if you're playing online games you are um, you know you always play online games in the browser then you can let it running else you can simply disable it just do a right click click on stop and i'll click on stop again and then we just need to do a right click again and i'll click on properties and from here i'll select from automatic to disabled and i'll click on apply now once this is done the next is the geo location service so i'll type g and we will look for a geo location service again it is running if you do not want to use as the name suggest geo location service for your desktop or the laptop you can stop it and then 
once it is stopped how we can stop it just do a right click and stop and then again do a right click and go to properties and from here manual to disable and please do not forget to click on apply and okay now the next service let's go ahead and do the next service which is phone service so type p after selecting and look for phone and i have found it now again if you do not connect your phone to your laptop or the desktop you can simply disable this service and just do a right click go to properties and from manual to disabled i'll click on apply and okay once this is done the next is the remote desktop configuration so type r and then scroll down and look for a remote desktop here so here i can see the remote desktop configuration so if you do not connect your computer um, through remote you can simply disable it so just do a right click go to properties and from manual to click on disabled and then click on apply and okay it is actually good because uh, most of us don't use remote desktop so once it is disabled and now we will move to the next step which is windows biometric service so if you are not using your computer i mean if it's a laptop and um, i mean desktop and uh, you do not use the biometric service the touch thing to open your computer then you can disable it so i'll just click on to i'll just do a right click go to properties and from manual to i'll click on disabled all these services you need to check yourself which is because you can be a online player well, i mean uh, playing online games then you should not disable ip helper so all these services whatever if you use it you can let it active so i do not use windows biometric service i have disabled it all right and the next service is windows error reporting service so just below biometric service after five to seven service you will find windows error reporting service this is also not required because uh, there's so many testers are already there who you know do the testing and all so if you do not want to send your uh, errors or reporting um, then you can simply do i'll just go ahead and because my computer is a maiden computer i i will disable it so i'll just do a right click and i'll go to properties and i'll from manual to i'll click on disabled once this is done now we are going to disable the last service which i can recommend is the xbox so if you do not play xbox if you never connect your computer with xbox what you can do is you can simply disable all these xbox services all right so i can see i have four services xbox so if you're not using it you can simply disable it and if you're using it you can let it active so i'll just do a right click i'll go to properties and i'll click on disabled i'll just go ahead and do that one by one and guys do let me know uh, which services you have disabled which services not and how's the performance how's the usage of your computer uh, your hard disk overall the performance how exactly it is is it better or not please do let me know in the comment section all right your comments uh, really motivates me and if you want more tutorials like this please do let me know in the comment section that yes this tutorial has helped you and your computer is way better way faster and it's not lagging anymore all right so please do let me know in the com comment section even if it's a is i mean big or small change uh, in performance please do let me know in the comment section all right uh, please hit the like and subscribe i really need your support and i'll see you in the next tutorial and guys please share this tutorial with your loved ones your family and friends and take care bye bye have a wonderful day